your dog or cat has been scratching their ears. You do a swab, you find this really chunky black debris. Could be ear mites. This is a great new natural remedy. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, click there to subscribe. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. If my man Murray here were really, was really shaking his head, scratching at his ears, like just First thing you're gonna do, whether it's your dog, whether it's your cat, you're gonna have a good look into their ears, right? You're like, what is going on? Especially if it was Murray, I would be thinking, they're mites. I would take this, aka the Q-tip. I would turn his head to the side. I'm going to have a little look in his ear canal. Do I see any kind of black, chunky debris? I'd put my Q-tip down his ear canal, and I would see what I'm going to find. And if there were big, black, chunky debris... 90% sure that's an ear mite. And hounds, even little Tula, they can get the same thing. But if that's the case, what can you do? Well, in today's cooking a remedy app for ear mites and dogs and cats, we're coming with three, three main ingredients. First, we're coming with the carrier oil. Today, we're using this guy here. It's castor oil. Many of you have probably heard of it. Things aren't moving. Take some castor oil. You're pregnant. You want to speed things up. Like you're two weeks overdue. What could you use? Castor oil. It's a completely natural oil coming from the seed of the castor plant. Castor oil, but it's very thick and viscous and does a great job of filling into the ear. Very non-inflammatory, very, very safe, primarily used topically, but of going in and smothering those ear mites. And that's kind of the key in any type of holistic remedy in terms of treating these mites. We want to smother them. They're going to die. We're going to interrupt their life cycle. Second is this guy here. This is called neem oil. Neem comes from an evergreen tree found throughout India. It's used in an array of different disorders and I'm gonna be, do, be doing a follow-up video just on it based on all of its potential uses. In particular, more for what we would know throughout Western medicine is primarily it's sort of anti-parasitic, anti-pesticide uses. So for instance, all these organic farmers most of the topical sprays they might be using to repel all these array of different pests, if you're gonna eat your healthy lettuce, it's probably got neem in it. So because of that, it's also now been shown that it's an effective antiparasitic. So when we're dealing with these little critters, otodactyls that are growing in your dog and your cat's ears, neem is kind of it. The one other big thing is it's, it's safe for all mammals. So we're dealing with something that's effective, also safe, natural, Neem is it. So that's a key part of our concoction. The third thing comes from this very scraggly looking plant that many of you probably have in your house. It is. There's an aloe plant. It's another key part of our concoction. A wonderful topical anti-inflammatory. So our recipe starts with 15 mils or one tablespoon of this, the castor oil. 15 mils or one tablespoon of castor oil in our cup. Next, we are going to grab our neem oil. I've had to warm it up because it precipitates out quite firmly, sort of like coconut oil. So I warmed it up in hot water and it comes out as this yellow liquid. And that's what you expect to see from neem, primarily from the crushed seeds. So I'm going to use in this neem, this mixture of the neem, I'm going to use three mils, 
which equates to three dropperfuls. One, two, and then there's three. There it is. Three dropperfuls of neem. Then last but not least, we come to the aloe. So I'm just gonna break off part of my aloe plant. My goal is to get about two mils, so I'm just gonna squeeze some of the aloe juice. Squeeze that here into this measuring spoon. And I'm gonna try to squeeze about two mils out. So I'm gonna break off another plant, squeeze in some more of the aloe gel and juice. Everything that comes out of this aloe leaf is all going into my little measuring spoon to get myself two mils of the aloe. It's just such a great anti-inflammatory. Of course, if you don't happen to have an aloe plant, you can always go to a store, you can purchase something like this, this aloe vera gel purchased from the co-op and use that as a substitute. Regardless, it's not the critical part of the formula, but what it does is provide a great anti-inflammatory basis. And if you've got ear mites, you've got inflamed ears. I've then taken the liberty to go ahead and purchase a handy dandy little tincture vial bottle. It costs about $3 at the co-op. And it's also got a little tincture dropper, which is gonna be ideal for putting this, all this stuff into your dog, your cat's ears for ear mites. So kind of mix this jelly stuff up. Castor oil is very thick, so it also helps if it's slightly warm. Just mixing in the aloe and mixing in the neem. It's got our carrier oil, it's gonna smother the mites, our antiparasitic in the neem, our anti-inflammatory in the aloe. Now let's get this concoction. I'm gonna draw it up in the syringe, squirt it into our container, and we are ready for some treatment. Now we've got this. Here's our 20 mils of anti-ear mite treatment in this handy dandy little vial dispenser bottle. Ideally first you've cleaned the ears. I'll link to a few of the different videos. I've done a video on ear mites prior. I'm gonna link to that. Secondarily too, I've done a couple different videos showing you how to clean your dog and cat's ears properly. So ideally first, you're cleaning your dog's or cat's ears, you're removing as much debris as possible, and then you're going into treatment. Now we're ready for treatment. We're gonna be putting in five to 10 drops in both of your pet's ears. So ideally you have this handy dandy bottle with the tincture dropper where we can easily measure out five drops. If you don't have that, that's completely fine. You can use something as simple as this little 3cc syringe. We're gonna put in these five to 10 drops. I'm gonna put a couple in Tula's ears to show you how to do it. We're gonna tilt her head back to the side. Go girl, Tula. We're gonna open up her ear canal, put a couple drops right in there. One, two. I'd be putting in five or 10 if she were to have ear mites. Then you're gonna grab the base of her ear, rub it really, really, really well. Till you hear it squishing, it's gotta work its way down the external ear canal all the way to the eardrum. That's something that we're gonna be doing twice a day for seven days. We're gonna stop for seven days and follow that up again for another seven days. So in total, it's 14 days of treatment over 21 days. That concludes our recipe. I hope you guys find this helpful. I'd love to hear your feedback, especially for those of you um, who've been using on your dogs or cats that have ear mites. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Venery Secrets. If you get to do so, I encourage you to click somewhere up there to subscribe. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.